in the Middle Ages, uh, water wasn't drinkable. So it was bad water, it was not good. And then they say, hmm, perhaps when we put herbs inside and her hops and grains, and they make a new product, it was beer. We know that in the Middle Ages there were different kinds of beers, they brew. There was first of all a beer they brought in, in the Abbey, every day, a daily beer. And we think it must be a very dark beer. And perhaps it must be also a beer like we have now Grimbergen Blanche. And afterwards there was also a beer for beggars and people who came. It was a more better beer. And then there was an exceptional beer in, on Eastern time. It was a very strong beer. It was a beer to give you energy after a period that there was no food in, in the Abbey. And so you have in the Middle Ages already different kinds, sorts of uh, the gam gamma of Grimbergen beers. It's traditional beer, it's a historical beer, and um, you can say all the different kinds of uh, Grimbergen assortment have his own, each recept, it's a unique recept they have. It's not a beer to taste when you are on hurry, it's a matter of resting, it's to enjoy the little things in life. Gezondheid! Cheers!